Hello everyone, I'm Pratima. I welcome you all to this video. So this is a tutorial of GeoGebra app, which is a very useful tool for mathematics teachers. The mathematics teachers of the whole world are using this app to show different concept in mathematics while teaching online. So it is a great help as teaching ed. So today in this video, I'll show how to show that or verify that sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree while teaching online. So I have already discussed that GeoGebra is a both online and offline app you can download from their own website, geogebra.org. You can use thousands of the uh, teaching material from the website itself if you don't want to make yourself or if you want to make yourself, you can download and you can work offline also. So let us begin. I've already downloaded it. It is in my desktop. So I am sharing the screen and welcome all to this video. So I'm showing opening GeoGebra. It is taking some time. It is a very useful app for Maths as well as science teacher. Okay, it's opening. This is the thing. It is opening this old, this window has opened. Now, you will see this is the, uh, all the tools are given here. You can explore one by one. You can learn a lot, but I am not teaching or uh, explaining all the tools. Only thing is I'll explain to show the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So I'll go for the line. This is point tool. If you click, you can get so many things, point on an object. Then I'm going to line. You can draw a line. You can draw line segment segment with given length, similarly perpendicular line, parallel line, polygons, circles, ellipse, angles, then reflection, then text. So first time may write the text, what I'm going to do while you will show the children, you can prepare in advance and you can show it. So I'm drawing a triangle now. Before that, let me explain this is the algebra platform. This is your graphics platform where you can draw the graph, you can draw any geometrical shape. So I'm making a, a plain one. Yes. Now I'm taking the line segment. So I am, this is segment. You can see it is writing your A, B, two points. You can move the point also, but one F is small F is written. That is the name of the line segment. I'm hiding this. So I'll go for right click on this object that is line and I will click on show label. That means the name will go itself. Then I'm taking another line segment. This is AC, again it is showing it. So right click and show label. Then I'll join B and C. So the triangle construction is complete. So A, B, A, C, B, C. Now, after drawing, then what I'll take, I'll take the 
angles. I'll measure the angles. For angles, I'll go to, uh, before that, let me write some text. I'm writing that for writing, I'll go here, text. I'm writing the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Degree symbol, I'll go for symbols like MS bar. I'll go symbol, this is your degree. So I got degree, then okay. So if I, you want the text to bigger, you right click on the text and then go for object properties. Click left on the object properties. Then you will get a menu where you can color it. You can write the in the color. You can write the background colors also. You can make, you can be, when you click the text, you are getting it is be it may be medium, it may be large, it may be anything. You can make it bold. You can make the font changes. So next you write OK. So it is not going, the menu is not going, but you click it on the cross, it will go. The sum of angles of which 180 degree, we are proving this. Then next, time, what this in the algebra per platform, whatever I'm writing or doing, it is showing. Next, I'm going for angle. For angle, I'll go to this is angle, select the points, or here you will click angle, angle of given size, distance of the length, so many things will be there. I'm not interested in all these things now. I'll click on angle, then I am clicking on this line AB and AC to get this angle A. But you can observe that it is showing 300 degree to it is measuring the angle not interior exterior to do interior angles so i'll click on this then i'll go for the object properties i'll click on the angle then go for the so it will show angle alpha angle between B, A, C. I'll go for the object properties. For objective properties, then I go for basic. Here, you can see the num name is alpha, angle is B, A, C, and it is asking show label, whether you want name or value all, or click on this, you want only name, it will be alpha, it will name and value, alpha and degree, I am right clicking on only value, 300 degree, 11 minutes. Here I'll select between zero to 180. Then only you'll take the interior angles. You can see it is changed to interior angles. Now I'm crossing it. Just see one thing, it is showing decimal two places. I don't need decimal two places because I'm showing these two smaller children, class six, seven. So I'll go for option. I'll go rounding, rounding and click on zero decimal places. So see, it is 60 degree. So in the same way, I'll go for the second one. I'll click on this BA, I'll click on this BC and I'll go for the angle. So angle BC, and this, how much it is? It is B angle, it is 60 degree. I can move also. Now, I don't need this name. So what I'll do, I'll, I don't need the beta, I need only the value. So I'll go for basic, then only I'll click here, I'll go for value. So it is show only 60 degree. So. 67 degrees. So one is 60 degree, one is 67 degree. Then I'll go for third one. So I'll next is angle one side, another side. Then what it is showing? This showing angle is gamma. 
so i need only degree not gamma alpha beta gamma are the greek letters which are used to give symbol in mathematics and physics so it is showing by default it shows alpha beta gamma so i don't need i need only angles so i'll click on value just you can see it is showing your only degree so i'll move it now see the sum of the angles one is 70 67 one is 53 one is 67 so next what next is the magic but see it now i am moving this point c just see you change the angle and move it move it move it you change your b angle also you change a angle also you make the triangle bigger smaller so the children will be interested or you they, they can for each position they can take the sum and find that the sum of the angles is 180 degree so i hope you have enjoyed if you want to show the children sometimes what we do no need of how i have drawn it you go for you only show this portion make it save it you can save it in your computer file save as you can save as triangle i can name triangle then save whenever you are taking the class you can open it directly and you ask the children to take the sum and you just move the vertices of a triangle into different places and so that the children will get thousands of triangle and they can see or they can understand that whatever the shape of the triangle the sum is three angles is always 180 degree so i hope you will enjoy it so if you have liked it just like the video thank you for watching thank you for watching